What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Raven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Y walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we saw some fireworks right here, and now it is finally time for us to wake up a, uh, what was his name? A Snorlax, because it's still asleep. Why wouldn't it be asleep right now? I'm just saying. But yeah, we gotta wake up a Snorlax. We have to continue our adventure because we want to be the very best, like no one ever was. And then, you know, to catch them all, yeah, that's a test and all that crud. You know what I mean, guys. So, let's see. In this episode, we're going to be going through, well, Route 6. We're going to be looking through the tall grass, battling a few people. Maybe even capturing a specific Pokemon here and there. You know, that kind of stuff. Because you know how Draven rolls. And, you know, we finish it off by capturing uh, Snorlax. So... In order to get through these uh, these areas, go through the entranceway right here between the play lane and whatever. And as you guys can see, we got some tall grass. There will be some people here looking at you being like, ah, a sneaky person. And would you look at that? We got a hone edge. Oh my god. Okay. So... Hone Edge right here is a Pokemon that I've been uh, keeping my eye on for quite some time. I really do want it. And that right there can actually help us out just a tad bit. And, well, with that, here comes a Fury Cutter. And, <laughs> okay, so let's go right ahead and try and capture this Pokemon right here. So let's go Luxury Ball. Let's get it. Come on. Stay in the Pokeball. Don't be lame. Come on. Be cool. And there it is, guys. Yeah, throwing out that peace sign. All righty. Okay. All righty. So there is another Pokemon that we've captured and that we've had our eye for quite some time and want to add him to our team. Here is Hone Edge, the sword Pokemon, steel and ghost type. Okay. If anyone dares to grab its hilt, it wraps the blue cloth around the person's arm and drains that person's life, uh, life's energy completely. Okay. I have a good nickname for this Pokemon. Yeah, I got, the, I got a cool nickname for this. It's very simple, but I still love it. Everybody, say hello to Blade. That's right, Blade. I was going to call it Gladius, but I was like, nah, Blade is better. Say hello to Blade. And, uh, well, we don't have the option to actually grab it right now into the PC, so, yeah, my bad. Alright, let's go ahead and start battling some people. Actually, go through this grass right here. Grab this, found ourselves an antidote. This will actually work for us. And, well, let's see. Still going down right here. Talk to this person. It's all grass, yes. I gotta sneeze. <coughs> Ah, uh, excuse me. Alrighty. So, here we go, taking on uh, a backpacker, and he will be coming out with his, uh, what should I call it, uh, his fleshling. Let's go straight for a side beam attack. And that gives fleshling just a, a doozy of a, uh, of a, of a boo-boo right there. Alrighty, and Bebe, without doing anything, growing levels, and we have beat Jerome. Yes. Alrighty. So, Pokemon you can find here. Honage is one of them. Oddish. Uh, Ninkata is another Pokemon that of interest right here. Uh, what was that? What was that? Meowstic. Yeah, you can actually capture a Meowstic right here. And the funny thing is, in, Ka in the Kalos region, Meowstic has two forms, which would be a male and a female version, which is always fine, guys. It's positive. And, uh... Yeah, let's see, let's see. You know what? Netball wouldn't... W yeah, netball would work. I'm trying out my luck right here. Yeah. Let's go. And... There you go, guys. Cut ourselves an Ninkata. Alrighty, okay. So, yes, I'm just trying to capture whatever Pokemon I can. Growing levels and all that stuff. Uh, as of right now... I am, uh, I'm doing very well in my Pokemon, uh, Pokemon X walk, like, not my Pokemon X walkthrough, but 
I'm playing Pokemon X behind the scenes, capturing whatever Pokemon I can. Obviously, I'm going to be switching... I'm going to be trading Pokemon that you can't capture in this version with Pokemon X. That way I can get a, a, a good uh, Pokedex, or have a good Pokedex, because if there was ever one thing that I never ever do, or never ever did when Pokemon X and Y were around, was, you know, complete, not, not much complete, but expand the Pokedex. I've always been able to capture every Pokemon around here. I, I mean, the experience points added on with, you know, with capturing a Pokemon, did add a very good incentive and uh you know i took it i took advantage of that the only thing was that i never ever ever got to level up these pokemon change them into their different forms or anything i just you know once the game was done the game was done which as many of you guys already know it's kind of disappointing very disappointing how like they didn't have a very like a true after game at, like once this game was completed and well here's a confusion here comes a flame charge and look at that, Volby defeated. Yeah, okay. Alrighty. And Star Fox grows to level 22. And it wants to learn Fire Spin. We're gonna we're gonna take away Tail Spin for or Tail Whip for just a bit. Fire Spin can prove useful eventually later on. And the goat Jordan has grown another level. And Aaliyah doing her thing, growing her levels too. Alrighty, alrighty, so we have defeated him, or her, or whatever it is. Okay. I do remember there was another people, oh, another person here, and there she is. I'm determined to see everything in Kalos has to offer. Come on and bring out your Pokemon. Okay, alrighty, let's go. Here it is, Tours Mari. And here she's coming out with a Lumise. That's a very good Pokemon, not really. Very rare Pokemon. And that's a good drink of water right there. Alright. So the Goat Jordan is not going to battle this one. You know what? Let's go ahead and give Hurricane a little bit of love. Because, well, it's about to evolve. And, well, for like the first time ever. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to have like... Maybe it is. Is it? <coughs> the first time ever? Probably. I don't even know. First time ever, we're probably gonna we're gonna have a PG evolve into a Pidgeotto. So here comes a sweet scent attack, and that is not gonna work out. So here goes a gust attack, super effective. Try it again, and I don't know why you're trying to lower my evasiveness. I am not trying to be evasive. Here we go, another good one. And let's go ahead and do it one more time. Gust attack. That right there. Yeah, we're losing we're losing our stats. You could have just attacked me two like four times over, but yeah, didn't work. Alrighty. So there it is. 420 and Hurricane has grown to level 18. Alrighty, and Jordan, the GOAT! Wants to learn Leech Seed. That's also a good thing. So let's go ahead and take away Tail Whip for the time being. And let's go ahead and do that. Jordan the Goat. Okay, so Tourist Mari has been defeated. Alrighty. Okay. So as you guys can see, without doing much, Hurricane is now evolving. Never really was my intention, but yes, I am thinking of getting myself another flying-type Pokemon. It won't be until way later on. You guys will appreciate it. It's gonna cause a it's gonna cause a shakeup on my team, but I'm doing this because, well, shoot, I kind of want to try out some new Pokemon. And well, would you look at that, Pidgeotto. Alrighty, okay, a slick back hair and everything. Okay, alrighty, so that's a victory for us right there. And well, we can go right here. And before we do anything. Let's go ahead and go with Poping. Yes, let's go with Poping. Kick some butt, take some names. Here we have an individual wanting to battle us, and, uh, well, he wants to beat us. He wants to be the champion and all that crud. Okay, alrighty. Jacob, the youngster, wanting to come out with a Krogonk, so, man, I am like. I'm failing at the whole, like, hey, you know, you gotta pick the right Pokemon here, and. 
yeah, none of these none of these moves will work. So let's go right ahead and switch to Star Fox. See how that works out. Let's go. Alrighty, alrighty. Here comes an Astonish attack. That doesn't work. Alright, Star Fox. Use your Psybeam. Use the Force, young one, and BAM! Quadruple damage. Poison and fighting type Pokemon. That's a good combination, but yeah, not good enough. And Poping has, uh, is learning Comet Punch. Alright. So let's see. Comet Punch. You know what? Let's go ahead and switch out Arm Thrust. I know it's not the most popular move, but eventually it's going to learn a different normal type move that will help us out. And, well, here comes a Beedrill. Yeah, let's continue on. Bring it. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Bring it on, Beedrill. Flame Charge for the win. And I do have Fire Spin. I completely forgot about that one. Look at this! Oh, uh, yeah. That is how you do it, and that is how you do it. The Goat Jordan is learning Razor Leaf. Alrighty. Okay, so we're switching out Vine Whip. Razor Leaf is going to be good. Let's get it. Okay, so look at that. Baby is... Oh, wow, Baby is learning Razor Leaf as well. And, well, we're going to take out Vine Whip and all that crud. Now, it has me... It has me considering some stuff right here. Maybe I should put Baby back, but who knows? Maybe I want to evolve it. Maybe I don't. Who knows? We shall find out. Okay. Move out of the way. Here we have another item. And just like that, we get ourselves a Paralysis Heal. And we're going to go right here. And we're going to go in the maze and follow where... Well, we're going to get attacked by different Pokemon and all that crud, but I do have quite a few repels. Look at that. We found ourselves a Ninkata. Poping. Ready to go. Ready to do things. Not going to do things against this Pokemon right here, so let's go. Alrighty. Okay. Okay, you know what? I'm going to use a repel because I do not want to get attacked by any Pokemon right here. Let's see, where are the repels? I have five of those little guys, so... We'll see what happens. We're gonna go straight across, and we might have one more person. And yes, our battery's running out, so thankfully, I have a battery charger close by, and bam, there you go. Is it charging? Hold on. Hold on, guys! Ah! Ah! Okay, it's charging. Yes, it's charging. Yes, it's charging. Okay, so we're back. And I think we've already defeated this guy. Yeah. You, he'll, he'll be champion someday. Yeah, not not if I have anything to say. Now, there is a there is an item, a TM, and that is Venishock. This move can be useful. I want to see who can learn it, though. All right, let's, uh, let's, be, let's get it organized just a little bit. Venishock... Yeah, nobody can learn it. Huh. Huh. Yeah, I got I got quite a few moves that nobody can learn a lot of. And Well, let's see. Let's go straight to Ords. Let's go straight towards the other section right here. Now, again, stay away from the bushes cuz if you get close by and you're, you know, rollerblading or something like that, yeah, you're going to you're going to get attacked and all that crud and Let's see, I'm going to save this game just in case something passes, because... There we go. Okay, so... It's letting me know that the power is low, but it's charging, so it's like, okay, there's no... There's no big issue right there, so let's get... Let's get down to it. Now, there are trainers here about to challenge me for... You know what? I could use these Pokemon. Let's go right ahead. And continue the dominance. Okay. Alrighty, so we got a dual battle right here. And well, let's go ahead and just let's go ahead and dominate people right here. So here we have Pokefan, Jan, and Aaron, and they're gonna be coming out with Fur Frows. And look at this, they're both nice and uh well, nice and groomed and all that crud. So good thing is we got a fighting type Pokemon with us. So Poping and the GOAT himself ready to kick some butt, take some names. 
let's go ahead and work up. And... Huh. You know what? Let's go with this. That's right. So here comes a headbutt attack. Not... Oh, wow! Okay. Now I'm taking... <laughs> now, now that Pokemon's going to take it personal. Okay, and we did not... Oh, wow. Yeah. Some friggin' poodles are kicking our butts. I'm taking it personal now, just like the GOAT Michael Jordan here. So let's go with this. Let's go with that. Eat it. Here we go. Flame charge. For the win. Eat it. Okay, so that was... Uh... Wow. Wow. Okay, so... <laughs> we may have underestimated these people. Okay, so why... Why didn't I attack? Okay, so we got to heal up our Pokemon. This is ridiculous. Okay, so Super Potion. Poping. And... Well... <sighs> gotta go with a Psybeam. Someone must go. Someone must faint. Let's get it. And... there. Oh, come on! But it is confused. That's right. Stay confused. And here comes a headbutt attack. Hitting Poping. And wow, that is a critical hit. I was about to say, they are picking on Poping for some reason. Probably because it's a poodle. Or not a poodle, but... Come on, hit somebody. And that. All right, Star Fox. Finish off for a frow. Okay, Avenge. And, well, there we go. Poping. Grows to level 16. And... Well, let's see. Star Fox gets some more points right there. Oh, my God. Alrighty, okay. So, we got some more points right there. And Aaliyah grows to level 18. And Aaliyah's growing, uh, learning Electro Ball. This one right here is a little bit better than Thundershock. So, let's go ahead and uh, take that. And, well, there we go. Electro Ball, Hurricane, growing levels. Okay. And here comes a headbutt attack. Why are you guys targeting my, my Pokemon? All right, finally, Karate Chop. Wow. Okay, so you know how much better that would have worked if we just, you know, everything would... Ah, never mind. I'm not even going to say anything. So here we go. Side shot, or side beam. Avenge our Pokemon. Headbutt. Okay, you guys are really pissing me off right now. So here we go, you goddamn poodles. There's a reason why I don't like poodles. Okay, so there we go, getting some points, Star Fox, everybody, and yes, just like that, we win. Alrighty, okay. So, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to switch out Pokemon because this is getting ridiculous. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so we're back, guys, and well, what we're going to do right here is we are going to, well, we put Blade back into the fold because, well, we need Blade. Kind of, probably, I don't know. So as you guys can see, we got Blade. I like saying that, Blade. It has the no guard ability, ensures attacks by Pokemon or by or against the Pokemon land. Um, okay, I don't know what that means. And it does have an impish nature, impish nature, which affects its defense and special attack. It is both a steel and ghost type Pokemon, so that is a very, very good and a very new combination right there. And uh, well, our team is taking a it, it's taking its shape. Now off screen I did buy myself quite a few more repels because wow we need repels a lot of them and the five of them four five four yeah they weren't gonna work out right here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab items grab this we got ourselves a super repel that's definitely gonna be needed right there and well let's see is there somebody else hiding in the in the in the metal right here that wants to attack us beat us I don't know prove their might against us I don't know so let's go right ahead and move on right here. And, uh, well, hopefully we'll find something right here. There should be somebody trying to, like, trying to beat us right here. And there we go. There's somebody. Alrighty, let's go. Let's get it. Here we are taking on Youngster Tyler. And we're going to be taking on uh, the Venipede right here. So that would have been a good challenge for, uh, what was his name? For Blade. Alrighty. How's it going, Venipede? 
You're breaking the mold, but guess what? I'm going to switch out my Pokemon. Let's go with Blade. Alrighty. Okay. Let's go. And, well, it hits us with a Pursuit Attack, which is always beneficial for, like, you know, anybody. And here we have Blade. And, uh, well, what's going to happen right here is we're going to go with a Swords Dance. And that is going to progress if we don't hurry up. Okay, so here we go. Swords Dance sharpening our attack. And this one... Let's see. If we can hit it with a... Oh, crap, Baskets. Okay, so we got to hit this Pokemon hard. And that was a good tackle attack. So the third one is going to hit us right here. So here comes a rollout attack. And thankfully, our Pokemon is a Steel-type Pokemon. So here we go. Tackle attack yet again. Buffed up by the Swords Dance attack. And yes, Poping and Blade get some points right here. And here comes a Scraggy. Okay, so Scraggy is a different situation. And, well, let's see if we, we can hit it with a tackle attack, but it doesn't affect us with the head headbutt. So, we do have a shot to beat this Pokemon. And, yes, it only has headbutt, so there we go. Thankfully, our ghost-type capabilities will cover that, and bam, Blade! That's right, we got Blade, Poping, going to level 17. Yeah, this team is taking its, uh, yeah, we're, we're looking pretty good right here. Okay, alrighty. So, who's next? Like Goldberg said, who's next? I don't know. There might be another person right here. Yes, there's one right here. I came all this way from the Unova region to see Parfum Palace. Well, I'm sorry. You wasted your uh, <laughs> you wasted your time because of uh, who owns that place. But here we are taking on Roderick. And thank you, Arceus. We are going to be taking on a Pokemon that we have a shot with. And... Well, let's see. Karate Chop. There you go. Karate. And then there's the Chop. Yes, sir. There goes another Pokemon. Poping. Yes. And Roderick has been defeated. He is not happy, which is good. That's fantastic. That's, that's better for me. And, well, let's see. There is an item right here which you will be able to find yourself in Ultra Ball. Funny enough that, you know, you're probably going to need an Ultra Ball going into this next thing. And, well, it looks like to me we are completed. And we've already grabbed the item. So the next order of business right here, guys, is we're going to be going back to route number seven. And we're going to try and wake up this Snorlax right here. So the Pokemon that we need for this one is definitely going to be Aaliyah. And, uh, you know, we got to save the game too because, yeah, no, my luck. Yeah, I'm not going to win this one. Okay, so here we are going back into Route 7, and everybody's waiting for us. So is, uh, what's her face, Shauna? And like, oh, it's you two! Did you actually manage to borrow the Pokeflu? Yes, we have. Draven handed over the Pokeflu. Thanks! Well, you're the only one who can play it, right? Snorlax can be grumpy when it wakes up. It might attack. I'll play the flute right now, but you are you ready to stop it? Yes, I am. I'm always ready. I was born ready. Alrighty. Oh, look at that. It woke up. Okay, so here it is, guys. We are going up against a wild Snorlax. This Pokemon, it is a tank. You guys have to be careful because this Pokemon is a tank. So what we're going to try and do here is paralyze it. Because it doesn't have the rest attack. Meaning that, you know, it um, rest can heal up any status uh, effects or anything like that. So... That right there will work in our benefit. And here we go with Electro Shock. And that is... Wow, okay. So, so far so good. We're, we're, doing, we're doing a pretty good job right here. So here we go, another Electro Ball. Let's go, Aaliyah. There we go. And, wow, okay. All right, let's go ahead and hit it one more time. Wow. And, okay, so that right there will activate... It's a uh, berry, and it's citrus berries right there. And because of that, it's going to go with the defense curl. Okay, let's see. Let's go with one more electro ball. Hopefully, 
this doesn't make this Pokemon fan, because if it does, I'm just going to be mad. There we go. Okay, so here comes a Lick Attack. All right. Quick Attack, because Snorlax did a Defense Curl. And there we go. We're in the red. It can't move. So let's go right ahead and use that Ultra Ball. Come on, Ultra Ball. Do your work. There's one. There is one. There's two. There's three. Come on. Yes. I am throwing at that peace sign. Alrighty, guys. So we captured we captured Snorlax and everybody's getting some points. The Goat Jordan has grown to level 14. Blade to level 13. Wants to learn Pursuit. So let's go right ahead and take away that Tackle Attack. And... Well, there we go. Pursuit is there. And what do we have now? Hmm. So here is Snorlax, the sleeping Pokemon. It is 6 foot 11. 1,014 pounds of pure just gluttony. Its stomach can uh, digest any uh, any kind of food, even if it happens to be moldy or rotten. Oh, wow. This guy's got like an iron belly. And, well, let's go right ahead and nickname this Pokemon. I bequeath to you the name... Tank! Because, well, yeah, this Pokemon's a friggin' tank. Oh, yeah! So, there it is, guys. We got ourselves a tank. And, well, what happens next? Awesome! You caught the Snorlax! Ooh! Oof! And, well, this guy appears. Oh. The only thing I can do with that Pokeflu is to put it on display, but you've been playing it playing since you were little, so... And the tone is so lovely. It seems like my Furfrau also likes the sound of the flute. Not as much as I li like, or it likes my beautiful Wonderfrau fireworks, of course. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Still, your playing sounded, uh, sounded better back in the day. I'll let you take care of that flute, but, so be sure to practice more. Dick. Well, that was, I guess, whatever. Was that supposed to be an attempt to patch things up? Well, whatever. All's well that ends well. I wonder what lies past he, uh, where Snorlax was sleeping. I'll tell you what lies past this. We're going to go right here. And no, we're not going to use a repel. But we're going to be coming right here. And look who appears. Tierno and the other guy. Trevor, I think. Oh, hey, Sensei. Trevor said that he wants to check out the Pokemon daycare. Come with us. Hmm. Okay. Alrighty. So here we are in the Pokemon daycare. They take care of Pokemon for you. Yes, indeed. You can leave up to two Pokemon here at once. I seem to remember something good can happen if you leave two Pokemon here. That's right. Sometimes we'll find a new addition like an egg. If you carry the, the egg around, a Pokemon will emerge from it. Wow. A Pokemon will come out? Maybe I'll leave some here. Having the same Pokemon with the same moves might uh, step up my dance. How about you, Sensei? Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. I need to capture a Ditto because I got some breeding to do. I, ser I seriously do. And, uh, well, <laughs> that is pretty much it for this episode, guys. It has been a long one, just like the last three. In the next episode, we're going to be going through our stuff, you know, forward and onward and all that crud. Thank you guys again. Like, th thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being patient, as always. I'll be back for another episode of our Pokemon Y walkthrough. See you guys.